Hello, I'm Phil Speedtech 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanted to talk about this idea that, uh, like in basketball, when there's only a few seconds left, you know, who do you want taking that shot? And, you know, people always go to the superstar, right? And so, you know, to take that shot and make it, right? And sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. But nonetheless, you would entrust the ball in their hands versus somebody else's. Well, when it comes to your creative projects as well, I want you to really think about that. See, too often, sometimes like uh, we don't think enough of the team aspect of it, right? Meaning the, the idea that we have people around us who can support us and help us much like other players on a basketball team. And by the way, I don't care what you're doing, you're still gonna need a team. Even novelists who you, you know go off and write these novels by themselves for long periods, still have a team in order to get it over the finish line, or should, right? Um, even someone who's self-published gets feedback from, from you know, their friends, their family, peers, and so forth, if nothing else, right? Ideally, you would also have an editor to help find, comb through it for grammar and other stuff, but nonetheless, right? So even if your team is small, you still have a team. And, you know, me as kind of now, in terms of the stuff that I'm doing as an indie filmmaker, yeah, my team is small, but I still have a team, right? Um, and it, it's great to have because I, they offer up their, their support system uh, for the various inevitable hurdles that come along with any creative endeavor. And that's wonderful. And I want more people to embrace that team mentality when it comes to creativity, because it's not just all about you. It's like, it's not all about me, even though, you know, in this case, like if, you know, with my first movie, I was the writer and director, um, editor, cinematographer, all those things, right? And that's probably what I will be for my second feature film. But even though I would be wearing that many hats and those are big roles, that doesn't mean that I don't have team members. And so again, just embrace the team. However, there are instances, right? Just like in a basketball game, it's like, yes, you have teammates, but when, when it's the last few seconds of a game and you need that game winner, who do you go to? And so in those instances, when it's your creative project, that's going to be you. Just like working on, you know, this, this feature film, at the end of the day, I have to make the final decision. And so you can take, for me, like I take input um, as much as I can, you know, I welcome it. And sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's like exactly what I need to hear. It, it solves the problem. Wonderful, right? Other times it's like, thank you for the input, but just, we're not going to go in that direction. And you, you know, and you're not always going to be right, but you have to be willing to take that shot. Uh, just like in a basketball game, it's not like, you know, the person that ends up taking that shot is always gonna make the basket. They either will or they won't. Ideally, they make it more than they don't. You know, that's why they're taking that shot. And same thing kind of has to apply to you. You know, as much as you can, it's like, okay, well, what are we gonna go with? And for me, you know, everything's obviously situational. And sometimes I, I get as many differing opinions as I can to try to weigh it out, but ultimately only I can make that decision. You know, and I think I think we try to negate this responsibility to other people because if because of a fear, right? If they make the wrong decision, then it wasn't us. And sometimes we alleviate even in small things, right? We well, I shouldn't say small because what I'm thinking of is let's say someone comes to us for career advice. And they're like, hey, I could stay at this job and it's kind of like the devil that I know, or I could try to go for this job and it seems exciting and things like that, but if it's not, then here's the cons of that, right? And it's like, you know, what should I do? And I think oftentimes people are, you know, in that sense, yes, they want feedback and things like that, but if they keep, I, I've been in situations where they keep pressing you and so forth, and it's like they almost want you to make the decision for them. And it's like, no, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's your life. You have to make that decision. And um, I think 
that kind of mentality permeates into other aspects if you allow it to. Because again, the, the fear aspect of it, you know, if I'm not, even if something fails, but I didn't make the decision, well, then it's not my fault, right? The, your, your ego can kind of justify that for itself. But that's not a correct way of going about it. And certainly, as I said, for me, I've had plenty of instances where people's opinions are wonderful and they can be the solution. Other times, even I can have so many differing opinions. Like, for example, most recently with my poster for, um, you know, for, for this movie, we're making kind of like a mock poster. It's not going to be the final poster, but for the purposes of pitching this and so forth, it's like the poster. And, you know, in that sense, I'm like, hmm, you know, I was getting kind of feedback and it was good feedback, but, you know, there wasn't really a comment. And I was like, okay, you know what? This is one of those instances. It really has to come down to me. And as much as I would like, love to appease everybody, let me just appease myself. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, you know, that's, that's on them, you know, never in life is someone going to fully love everything that you do. Um, you know, there's always going to be even nitpicks, if nothing else. So, never be afraid to make that final shot. Listen, you're not going to get it right all the time. I have not gotten it right all the time. But ultimately, that's how you learn. You know, there's a, there's a phrase that I love where you can fail at something without being a failure. Right? So, remember that. So, if you take the shot and it doesn't, it doesn't make the basket, proverbially speaking, then you're not a failure. You just... You know, that project failed, but you're not a failure. So keep that in mind, and hopefully that'll allevi alleviate your fear when making certain final decisions. Um, that makes sense. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, I hope this has been beneficial. You are welcome to leave a comment or question if you have any. Uh, you can do so in the comment section or hit me up on social media at Phil Speedtech. I would love to converse with you more about this. If you think this episode might be a benefit to somebody in your life, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it as I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.